Hello, it's Abigail of Ground and Grow Yoga. And tonight's practice is one that's great after a long day of sitting or traveling. We're going to be focusing on intuitive movement. So moving in and out of postures, listening to the breath and kind of guiding you around. So not everything we're doing uh, will look the same for everybody. Not that yoga does anyway, but I want you to really listen to your body and feel into what we're doing. So you might do the same thing I'm doing or you might find something else that feels nice, but I'll just be cueing some general uh, guidelines of what we're moving into. You do not need any props for this practice. Hop on your mat and let's get started. Bring the knees wide, toes touch together, and walk the arms out or walk the fingers in, elbows out. So whichever variation you choose, settle down into the posture. And I want you to focus your attention in on your breath. So as you breathe, really imagine the belly expanding and the low back getting wider. So this could just be in your imagination, but really visualize that happening as we breathe in. So as you relax into the posture, I want you to deepen the inhales and exhales Maybe inhaling in for a count of three and out for a count of six. So trying to have the exhales longer than the inhales. So inhaling in, two, three, and out, two, three, four, five, six. Don't be frustrated if you can't extend it for that long, but that's what we're working towards. So inhaling in and then exhaling even more slowly. intention for tonight's practice is I am in tune with my own body, meaning you know where in your body things are tight, what things feel good, what things do not. And so as we move through tonight's practice, I want you to really be mindful of what feels good and maybe how you could change things to have them feel even better. So using me as a guide, but really listening to what your body's looking for. So I am in tune with my body. And with that affirmation, maybe that means finding a little bit of movement here rocking from side to side, or walking the fingers from one direction to the other. Or maybe it's moving forward and back, playing wherever you are, again, with what feels good in your body. Focusing on the breath. And if you feel silly, I always suggest closing your eyes. It helps to keep you focused inward and not worrying about what other people are doing or what things look like. Good. When you're ready, come up onto all fours and same thing here playing with what feels good for you so maybe we're 
moving the hips from side to side, looking back towards our toes. Or maybe we're moving the hips in a circle here. But again, close the eyes and just feel into what the body needs tonight. So exploring, seeing which directions feel good. You might try to move in a serpentine manner, moving the spine around. Shifting where your weight is in space. So towards the hands or towards the knees. If none of this feels good, you can always come into our traditional cat-cow and be breathing here. You know, for me, at the end of a long day, it feels nice to come into these more circular movements as we do a lot of just moving forward and back, so flexing and extending the body, but not kind of moving off the tracks. When you're ready, send the right leg back and then bring it through to come into a low lunge or Maybe you come into lizard, again, noticing what feels good in the body today. So in lizard, I really like to rock from side to side and allow the knee to kind of open up or come onto the edge of the foot. And then if I'm in low lunge, playing with moving in and out of it and playing with where the arms are in space. Allowing your body to guide you and focusing in on the breath. with moving back into our runner's lunge, so walking the hands back and forward as we straighten and bend the knee. Or maybe this all feels like too much movement and you just want to pick a posture and stay in it. Again, it's your body that's telling you what to do tonight. So feeling in and listening to what it wants. When you're ready, release. We'll do that to the other side. So send the left foot back, and then it comes forward. First, play around with whatever you did first to the other side, but notice that this side might be craving something different. Play with twists here, shining the heart towards the side of the room. Again, if you did so on the other side, try moving back and forth here. 
between runner's lunge and low lunge. Good. When you come forward this time, try opening up to the side here and play with moving back and forth, just facing a different direction. So you could be here on the knee, keeping it nice and low. Or if your hips are nice and open, you might come up and play with our side lunge here moving back and forth. Noticing areas that feel tight. And again, noticing that one side might feel very different than the other. If you are on the knee, switch to the other knee. Good, come back to center, both knees uh, together. If this is not comfortable sitting, um, on the feet, you can always come to a comfortable seat of your choice because we're going to do some neck circles and tilts. So you might move side to side. Or you might move in a circle. But really Feeling into any places in the neck that are tight or stiff. And then when you find one, kind of stay there and hang out in it until it loosens up. So you might rock a little bit there. You might hold it to one side and play with moving the chin up and down. Or try moving the arm to see how that changes the feel on the side of your neck. Again, listening to your own body. So these are all just suggestions. You might find something that feels even better. get more of the spine involved. Maybe we're not just tilting the head, but we're allowing the hips to move from side to side. And tilting through the body. You can use your arms as well. Always being conscious of the breath. that you might want to stay in a little longer. Good. Send the feet out and bring them in front if they're not already. And then maybe you draw one heel in and then the other. Maybe you bring the soles of the feet together in a butterfly posture. Whatever you choose. And then again, play with rocking side to side. Or moving in a circle. 
We're moving through our cat cows. You might bring in a twist here. I think it can feel really nice to rock when you're in a twist. Maybe coming forward over legs over the toes. If you do this, maybe you walk the hands from side to side. Or maybe you continue to get a side stretch. Or walk the hands behind you. So I know this is a very different kind of practice, but it is something you can return to and notice how your body, the more and more you start listening to it, the more you realize which postures feel good for you, um, and after which activities. So really making yoga your own. Maybe you open one leg up and draw the other one in and play with bending from side to side or again coming forward. Or maybe you play with moving up and down. Just finding more length in the side body and a little bit of a back bend. Always mindful of your breathing. Making sure to switch to the other side. Noticing the differences. So something that might have felt really nice to one side might not feel nice at all to the other side. we're going to transition to our backs. So bending the knees, bringing the hands behind the knees and walking them down. And then playing here with what we want to do with the legs. So maybe we windshield wiper the knees back and forth, moving the toes. Maybe we draw the knees in towards the chest and do little circles here. Or rock from side to side. Maybe we send the feet up towards the sky and bend the knees out to the sides and come into happy baby. Or 
Or maybe we draw one knee in and across the body into our twist. Or maybe we bring both knees into the twist. If you do choose to do a twist, make sure that you do it to the other side. up over the head and send the toes towards the bottom of your mat and stretch here or grab one wrist and draw it to the side to get a stretch through the side body. If there's any other movements you feel like you haven't had a chance to explore yet, explore those now. And then when you're ready, release the toes towards the bottom of the mat. Allow the hands to fall either out to the side or one hand to the stomach, one hand to the heart. And we come into Shavasana. Returning our attention to the breath and trying to get the exhales to be longer than the inhales. So maybe three and six doesn't work for you. Maybe it's inhaling for two and exhaling for four. Or maybe you can lengthen the breath even more. But take five breath cycles here with whatever your chosen numbers are. then let go of the counting and fully relax into the mat, allowing the eyes to close if they're not already. And you'll hear my voice again in a few minutes.
start to draw your attention back into the room. Back to your body. And think to yourself again, I am in tune with my body. Start to find a little bit of movement here, maybe circling the wrists or wiggling the fingers and toes, stretching from side to side, allowing the head to rock gently back and forth. Before bending the knees to roll to one side, And then push yourself up to a seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. Take a deep inhale in. And sigh it out. And again, inhale in. Sigh it out. And one last time, inhale in. Sigh it out. Palms come together at heart center. Hopefully you feel good after tonight's practice. Thank you for taking time for yourself and taking this time with me. Have a wonderful night. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as comment, I am intuitive. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy the videos in this playlist here. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Subscribers allow me to continue to make free content for you. Have a wonderful night. Namaste.